Hey honey, here I go. I'm gonna work out. Ready? And you're about to do Pamela Duck and Halloween workout. Woo! Woo! Alright, come on. Shake off the skittles, shake off the Reese's, shake off those candy corns. Now ride the witch's broom. Ride the witch's broom. Ride the witch's broom. Ride the witch's broom. Squash Satan, kick him in the crotch. Squash Satan, kick him in the crotch. Squash Satan, kick him in the crotch. Ah, ready to make some chili. That's what my plan is today. I just did my workout as you see. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I can't stop watching that. That's so funny. <laughs> I hope it makes your day a little better. <laughs> I know it makes mine so much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put our, some of our peppers from the garden in our chili so I got some hot peppers to cut here let me show you okay so I have one two three four five hot uh, jalapeno peppers I'm putting in my chili and an onion so I'm gonna go cut this up and we're gonna saute it in the pan I wish sometimes I would just listen to Nathan he told me to buy tighter gloves and I'm like Oh, no, I don't need to. I have one of these and one of these. <laughs> Remind me, I think tomorrow we're going to go back out again. I was going to go today and I thought, now nah, I got some cooking to do. So, we're going to do cooking today. Oh, I've been craving chili, thinking of eating chili. Now it's time to eat it, right? So let me go cut this stuff up and get it in the pan. For the peppers, I'm going to leave more of the rib cage on. So it's a li they're a little hotter. I, I always seem to cut uh, a lot off and they don't be, they're not as hot. If you want your peppers not as hot, just leave some of the rib cage on. I mean, leave... I mean, remove the rib cage. <laughs> if you want them hotter, then leave some of the rib cage on. Yeah, that's what making them a little hotter. You gotta have that little bit of spice in your life. Okay, I have all my onion and peppers here. I'm just gonna saute them down a bit and I put some spices on them. And then we'll throw them in the crock pot. Then we'll get our meat going. I think this is going to be one of my best chilies ever. Oh, I got one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic I'm going to cut up and put in here at the last minute. Yeah. Oh, my nose. From everything being hot. Look at all that. Yes. It's all going in our chili. Yes, it is. Even if you can't grow fresh garlic, you can buy it right now at the side of the road. So, forget about that mince jarred stuff. Get yourself some fresh garlic today. You won't regret it. Ooh, <laughs> love our garlic. I love the smell. 
Okay, I'm adding the garlic. Only going to do this for a couple more minutes. Don't want to burn the garlic. Yeah. Look at that garlic. <laughs> I get so excited over garlic. We love garlic in this house. Okay, a couple more minutes and then this will be done. Okay, we're going to put our um, peppers, onions, and garlic in, and then we're going to fry up our beef. Oh, I forget what I called my, what did we call our crock pot? I can't remember. What did we end up naming him? Shoot, what did we name him? Something to do with nature. I'm putting lots of spices in my meat. I'm a spice girl. Yeah. I put uh, some of this. I put everything. Spice. This is going in today. Cajun pepper. Yes. I put uh, a lot of spices in my chili. And fry this meat up and then get it in the crock pot. Okay, the meat's going in. Oh my goodness, you guys are fogging up. Yeah. Okay, so I got two packs of this chili going in. I'm going to put some water in. Let's say, uh... Oh, doesn't say water. Oh, well, I might add water in the end. Who knows? I probably will. Okay. I'm going to put a jar of the tomato sauce in. What? What? Look at how skimpy these garlic are. Come on out here. Oh, I'm busy. Let oh, me... you gotta look. Well, let me get everything in this crock pot. Okay. They're like this. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Put a little water in there to put that in. And then. I have these Fiesta black beans. That's going in. Okay, then the uh, black bean Fiesta is going in. Where's the opener? Oh, I got it. I got bacon going too, you guys. We're going to put some uh, Bush Best honey. You got to put it in the camera. Oh, sorry. Honey baked beans. There you go. Drop her in. There you go, baby. I helped. Put a little water in there. Rinse it out. Okay. We got all that goodness in there, eh? Yeah. Is that good? Uh, yeah. Put some water in that one. Okay. This is going to be the best chili you ever had, hon. Got your hot peppers in it. These go in the garbage or recycling? Recycling. Rinse them off. We recycle everything here. Even the paper plate. 
Okay, and now just a little, a few All the garlic in there. <laughs> well, okay, just a few. I think we're gonna have to go see that Gary guy. A few hot pepper. Maybe when we're off. Yeah. You wanna see him? I would love to see him. I'd like, I like going there. I just like go visit him and see him and yeah. talk to them. I just like his ah! Whoa! She's getting crazy, people. I'm looking for my. Oh, go go watch it. Okay, I got them. Crushed red peppers. Just a few of those going in. And I need some... I like to put barbecue sauce in mine. A little bit of Sweet Baby Ray. And a little bit of the hot sauce, hun. Which one? The... <coughs> sriracha? Yeah, that'll work. Frank's hot. Sriracha's so good. Oh, honey. I know. Honey, stop it. You shouldn't have had it. You're doing that before you even had chili? <laughs> okay, that's good. Leave that upside down. Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta take that bacon out. What do we do for a you? Yeah, a multitask. Turn the stove off. Take the whole pan out? No, just the bacon. Turn the oven off. Okay. Sriracha. Going in. It's going to be some flavorful chili. Oh, and I like to put some corn in my chili. Huh? So it just shoots up. Get the corn, hun. The frozen? Yeah, the frozen corn. No, oh, that looks good, you guys. Oh, I can't wait till dinner tonight. I can because I have to. <laughs> Are you done with this? Yeah. I'm just gonna put it all in. I got more. Yeah. Okay. I'll take your garbage. Is it nice having a helper? Yeah. We're going to let this go on low. Well, actually, I'm going to put it on high for an hour. You done with To this? get it going. You didn't yeah. wash it out? And then, about three hours on low. Oh, did I hit your finger? We'll be back. Let's go see Bruce's garlic. Holy crap, honey. Is that Those good? Those are beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> oh. I gotta f look at that. I you must gotta, have to wash them, eh? Yeah, wash you gotta them off cut and, them and wash them. Yeah, but tie I don't tie them up like Gary did. No, I'm not tying them up like he did. Why? I I just gotta hang them. I'm gonna probably hang them in my greenhouse. Because if I hang them in your house, you're gonna beautiful. have beautiful. I'm making this BLTs for lunch, and then a ham tea sandwich for Bruce's lunch for work. Ooh. Ooh. Yum. Okay, bacon is going on. Mm. How can you not eat bacon while you do this? Bacon and tomato, and then Bruce's work lunch. Let's get some pickles and chips and enjoy this sandwich. Okay, Bruce's lunch. He has a sandwich, an apple, homemade cookies, pistachios, and a yogurt. Bruce's lunch. So Bruce watched the video, and they said to put these from your garlic plant in your chili. So, of course, I'm doing that. Yes, I am. Mm. He's out there hanging his garlic up. He's so proud. I'm so glad he had a good crop this year. He's so happy. 
And that, of course, makes me happy. Yeah, for sure. Okay, give that a stir. And let this chili go all day long. <clears throat> Wish you, we could have you guys over for a bowl of chili. Yeah. Wish we had smell vision Okay, guys. This is breakfast and lunch. Look at that. Okay, let's do our Therapet card first. See what we have today. Let's just deal with today. You can deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay? Just deal with today, today, and tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. That's like saying take one day at a time. Yes. Okay, Coco, you weren't here, so I'll, I'll pick you up. Put him up here. Come here, little turd. Zan, got some of Daddy's broccoli. Okay, so Bruce got broccoli from his garden today. So I'm going to make uh, my broccoli balls using his broccoli. And you know, I, I'm going to look it up, but I'm pretty sure you can take the stems and cook them in butter and garlic. Mm -hmm. And you can eat them like that. If so, I'm going to do that. Then There's I'll use... There's stems there. I didn't take them out. Yeah, I know. I, I know. And I'm going to use... The broccoli I got at the store to make a broccoli salad. I don't know if I picked it right. Well, you'll learn. It's the first year we've grown broccoli. We're learning as we you go can't along. Let them flower, they were starting to flower. But there's more broccoli coming out on it. Can you get me some nap napkins? I don't have any. Well, I'm eating. You know I'm messy. Zen! I have some broccoli here for you. Oh, hon, your friend stopped by. That help you, helped you with the breaks? He said he ate all the cookies. <laughs> mm. I love our tomatoes are coming. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough. This is not our tomatoes, but they're coming. When they come, I can't get enough of them. They're so good. Yeah, he, he ate all those cookies. He said, man, I wasn't sharing them. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I told him your putt-putt problem. He said, YouTube it. And they'll show you what hat, what's wrong. <laughs> I was telling our friends how we laughed and laughed. We could putt putt Bruce. Well, you know, you work so hard on doing something, <laughs> then that happens after you get everything together, everything done when you're supposed to. My sandwich is falling apart. I think what it is is that thing. Our speed sensor. You'll have more time now that you're yeah, going to be off. Yeah, I'm off next week so I can... I don't really... I want to try to get my stuff out of the garden that's in there right now. Or it's no good. But i got to get rid of this groundhog. 
That's Chucky. Yeah, well, Chucky's chucking me off. I'm gonna go enjoy my sandwich. She's seen them out there going in under the tarp or something at their house. Well, I seen, I didn't say nothing to you, but I seen. Under the tarp. Under, he went under, he went under my shed. And I put a big rock there and he moved that rock. What shed? Here, she my shed? There. That's where he lives. I think I'm gonna have to get some dynamite. Boom, boom, boom. If you watched them on TikTok, you'd think they're so cute. You can't eat them. <laughs> you don't have to eat. I don't care how cute they are. They're not cute when they're eating my tomatoes. We might need to... We could share. We got lots of tomato plants. No, we ain't gonna share. Ain't gonna happen. He's gonna get caught. He's gonna get moved somewhere else. We'll be back. So let me go cut this up. I need one and a half cups of broccoli. Firm, finely chopped. Then we'll go from there. Since it says finely chopped, I'm going to use my uh, food processor. Oh, I was, gonna, I was looking for the blade and it's already in there. So if this isn't enough, I can use some of this broccoli that I bought. Let's uh, just grind this up. See how much we got here. I really, it doesn't say to you cook the broccoli. Just, I wonder how it's gonna, how it's gonna stick together if you're not, if it's not cooked. We'll see. Okay, let's see if we got one and a half cups here. I don't think we do, but we'll get more broccoli if we don't. Yeah, that's one cup. I'll have to steal a little bit of the broccoli from the store. Okay, look how dark green Bruce's broccoli is. And look at the store bought. Well, it doesn't look like much difference, but there is. The store bought is a lot lighter looking than Bruce's rich dark. Okay, there. One and a half cups of broccoli finely chopped. I think I know what's going to hold this together. The three eggs and the recipe. Okay, let me get everything else out that we need. I ended up finding uh the last clove hanging up over there of Gary's garlic. Ours has to hang and dry for a week or so. So I, this is all the garlic I got left until ours is ready. Yeah. It's going to be, have to be stretched out. But I only need two cloves of garlic for my garlic balls. Which is good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go get two garlic cloves. Okay, I brought out Big Bertha because this bowl is not going to be big enough when we go to mix it all up. Yeah. So there's one and a half cups of broccoli. Two cloves of garlic going in. 
Okay. Next. Okay. Half a cup of Parmesan. And then a half a cup of shredded cheddar. And then half a cup of breadcrumbs. These are my homemade ones. I just keep them in the freezer. I just grind up all my crackers that are stale or whatever. And then put them, add, them, add them to this bag. Those are my breadcrumbs. Since these green onions are so big, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do them in the food processor. They're really thick. Let's throw two green onions in there like that. And then we'll uh, cut them up. Okay, two green onions going in. If I can get them out of here. Okay, two eggs going in. One. Two. Okay, we're gonna mix all that up. And then we're gonna shape them into balls and put them on a cookie sheet and bake for 30 minutes at 450. I'm going to do it in the convectional oven. So I'm going to cut my time down and just see. I think the best thing to do is mix this by hand so you get it all mixed together. Okay, I'm going to go put these on a cookie sheet with my small cookie dough scooper. I'll show you. Okay, I have my little scooper here. Okay. Well, they're... They go together a lot easier than I thought they would. I didn't think they'd stick together, but they, they are. Okay, I got my bacon... The tray I put my cooked my bacon on this morning, I, gr I drained all the grease and I'm going to cook them on there. I'll be back when they come out of the oven. Okay, let's get them in the oven. I'll be back when they come out. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my mess here from all my cooking today. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you're busy in the kitchen. Yeah. And then, my broccoli bites should be ready. Uh, oh, I gotta, we wanna, we gotta make some ranch dressing. That's what we have to do. Let me go clean this mess up. Okay. I'm gonna take these out of the oven. They look like they're done. And then it says to, uh, sprinkle some cheddar cheese on as soon as they come out of the oven. Okay. On top. You think these are yours, Coco? Oh, jeez. He thinks everything's his. Stop. They're not your chicken bones.
balls. They're broccoli rolls. Then we're just going to let them sit and cool off. We'll try one with our, with our dinner. Okay, Coco. Did you order an extra large bowl of chili? Extra cheese on top? Okay, and seven broccoli bites on the side. Uh, Sandra, did you order a large chili, three broccoli bites on the side? And they both are having iced tea tonight. There you go. Enjoy. I've been using this bowl when I cut up veggies because it's been so much lately to cut up veggies and everything. And I throw all the ends and bits and pieces and all the garbage right in here. <laughs> kind of like Rachel Ray. I think she does that. But it's a handy bowl just to do that with. And it works. Just as you're cutting things, throw the ends all in there. And then at the end, throw it all in the garbage. And I swear he's scared of these new plates. He doesn't want to eat anything off of them. Want some corn? Want some peas? I gotta go take care of the girls. I'll be back. Girls, let's gather. Come on, everyone. <laughs> Channy, you got a little something on your face. <laughs> something green. Okay, here you are. Blow down. Oh, everybody's getting bum baths tomorrow. The three of you. They're getting bum baths. Don't worry, you guys. Sorry, Ginger. <laughs> yeah, they're all, all three of them. I should do them tonight before they go to bed. Okay, Ellie Mae and Jethro. Some treats for you. Come on, Ellie, for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do some bum baths tonight. Jeez, they all got. Get yourself a treat, honey. Yes, I know you love me. Hello. Ellie Mae's eating all the mealworms, Jethro. Okay, there's the broccoli bites out of the oven. I think they look pretty darn good. 
broccoli cheese balls. That's what they're called. Okay, this is dinner. I have a bowl of homemade chili and broccoli cheese balls. And I made ranch dressing to go with it, to dip it in. Let's give it a try, you guys. I'm late eating tonight. So much time in the kitchen. And I want to get out there, give those girls a bath. They get older and like that, and there happens to them. But once they all have a nice, clean bath, they should be okay. The only one that doesn't need, doesn't need a bath is Ginger. Okay, I did get a chance to read some of my book today. And I have some iced tea here. Let's try a broccoli ball. Mmm. Good. Yeah. Those are good, you guys. Iced tea. Uh, okay. So. Hannah is... Has had to take her... Uh, her friend's five-year-old son and he's got like cerebral palsy not bad though he does have braces and stuff on his legs okay so she needs to get to know little Noah and so she rented rents the the cabin the log the log is it the cabin country house on the lake which Owen owns and you guys know Owen is a photographer well he's he has a guest house who <coughs> the tot guest house in a barn next to his house on the cabin house on the lake country house on the lake that he rents out it's a five bedroom cottage mm -hmm. so she was there with her uh, her group from work they were having a they had to all go there was four of her and like four four what am I talking there was four guys in her from her workplace and she just got bored with them and she laughed them. So she really liked the house though. So she decided to rent it and take a vacation with Noah. Well, Owen's job got canceled, the guy that owns the house. So he said, I'll, I'm just going to be staying in the guest house with his dog so they're getting to know each other and Noah really likes them and his dog so uh, he's been hanging out with them but I found out that um, Owen was married before and she knows that that he's divorced but what she doesn't know is he had a seven-year-old son and he was happily married and stuff he was his son was outside with him riding a skateboard he was working in the, the garage well, his son disappeared. Somebody stole him.
and they never found him. For 18 months, he was dead. The pedophile took him, and uh, he's never recovered from that. His, he ended up divorcing, but his his wife and him are still friends. They just it just broke them apart. They don't blame each other, and she doesn't know this yet that he has had a son. So far, it's really good. I was kind of sad about that part. They always throw a curveball in, don't they? <laughs> but so far, so good. Okay, so. If it's not too late when I'm done eating, we're going to go out there and give chicken baths. Oh, I feel like I've given all, every pet a bath. Mm hmm I'll be back if I get bathing chickens. Okay, Janny girl, let's get that butt cleaned up. Get it in there, squat. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All night, chicken baths. Cindy's next. Oh, it, oh, 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 they're fighting me on these. No, you're not. Oh. <laughs> no, you're getting a bath. Joys of a chicken mom. Let's clean that bum. You're fine. Marcia, you're last. Last one. Marsha, you're the last one and you're the best. Yeah, the rest of them were little buggers. Gotta wash that ass, wash that ass. The only good one in the bunch is you tonight. Yeah. Here's my friend. I'm gonna clean all the all the bird baths so they're nice and clean for the morning. They'll have a nice drink. Oh, the cardinal! It's Mama. It's my mom's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, it's Mama's birthday tomorrow. Oh, I miss her so much. That bunny isn't even moving and I'm right here. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I'll fill up the feeders before I go to bed. Everybody gets a little bit. Little towns I know so well Stopping for gas and then I'm behind